If I want to solve this, I'm trying to get this by itself first. So it's simply, we're going to add the 6 over first. And then we have 2 times 7 to the 2x minus 5 equals 30. Now the next step is to get rid of that 2. To get that 2 off, well it's connected by multiply, so the opposite of multiply is divide. But we got to do it to both sides. So all exponent problems, this is the first step. Get it to be simply something to a power equals something. Then, once we're there, we don't have a method to solve this without logs. So what we do is we change this into a log. So when I change this into a log, it's going to be log. The 7 is going to be my base. And we switch these two. What does that equal? Well, using this change of base formula, what you're going to learn is this is actually equal to log 15 over log 7. This right here. Which, when you do that on a calculator, log 15 over log 7, if you had a calculator, what you would get is 1.4. That's what that would be equal to. So this would be changed to log 15 over log 7. That value is 1.4. I did it on the calculator earlier. So my new equation is simply going to be 1.4 equals 2x minus 5. Can you solve that? Yeah, you just got to deal with a fraction. So your next step would simply be to add the 5 over. We have 6.4 equals 2x. And then divide by what? Divide by 2. So you have x equals, well, 6.4 divided by 2 is 3.2. That's your answer. Now, if you did not have a calculator, what you would do is you'd leave log 15 over log 7, and this whole thing would just kind of have log 15s and log 7s all the way through. It kind of would look like this. Um, actually, I'm not going to show it. That, that's, leave it like that for now. You'll see it on your benchmark the other way.